We here at ABC 7 News believe the heart of the Panhandle is within the people who live and work here. And that's why we highlight communities across our area in our special Our Town segments. Yes, and every day this week, we're heading to Shamrock. Today we visit the Pioneer West Museum, giving visitors a detailed look into the Panhandle's rich history. It's located just off I-40. Hundreds of travelers stop by to take a look every year. ABC 7's Adria Rahita gives us a closer look. Beyond the wide open plains lies a rich amount of history of those who settled this land. We're really set out to honor the pioneers of this county and, and just to show some of the hardships. The Pioneer West Museum holds lots of this history, showcasing all of Shamrock's hidden gems. Five different buildings show visitors what life was like for past residents. The museum is housed in what used to be the old Reynolds Hotel, built in 1928, and turned into a museum about 50 years later. When we got it, it was in very disrepair, though, and they wanted to tear it down. Some people wanted to tear it down. And O.B. Covington has been there since the start. We started working on it in 1976, uh, and we worked on it, too, uh, about 1978. The museum has many one-of-a-kind displays, like a room dedicated to hometown astronaut Alan Bean, and another dedicated to the United States Army Post Fort Elliott, which happens to hold some of the museum's oldest artifacts. In the 1800s, and, and it was a, a, where they raised, it was a fort that they raised buffalo to feed the other people, the armies that were around in the late 1890s. The museum also features the Magnolia gas station. Now people all the way back in the 1920s would come here to fill their cars up with gas. Hundreds of travelers visit the museum each year. They usually take Route 66, and uh, sometimes they come from, uh, from the coast of the Pacific Ocean, and they drive all the way to um, Chicago or vice versa. And most of the museum's artifacts have been donated from people who have strong ties to the Shamrock area. People that have lived here before, uh, they might come through and do something. Oh, I have something, you know from here that I can send you all. Keeping the town's rich history alive. In Shamrock, Adria Arahita, ABC 7.